May 14th, St. Pacomius Abbot. In the beginning of the 4th century, great levies of troops were made throughout Egypt for the service of the Roman Emperor. Among these recruits was Pacomius, a young heathen then in his 21st year. On his way down the Nile, he passed a village whose inhabitants gave him food and money. Marveling at this kindness, Pacomius was told they were Christians and hoped for a reward in the life to come. He then prayed God to show him the truth and promised to devote his life to his service. On being discharged, he returned to a Christian village in Egypt where he was instructed and baptized. Instead of going home, he sought Palemon, an aged solitary, to learn from him a perfect life, and with great joy embraced the most severe austerities. Their food was bread and water, once a day in the summer and once two days in winter. Sometimes they added herbs, but mixed in ashes with them. They only slept one hour each night, and this short repose Pacomius took sitting upright without support. Three times God revealed to him that he was to found a religious order, and an angel gave him the rule for the life thereof. Trusting in God, he built a monastery, although he had no disciples, but vast multitudes soon flocked to him, and he trained them in perfect detachment from creatures and from self. His visions and miracles were innumerable, and he read all hearts. His holy death occurred in the year 348. The following quotes are attributed to St. Pacomius. To live in great simplicity and in a wise ignorance is exceedingly wise. And most men look for miracles as a sign of sanctity, but I prefer a solid and heartfelt humility to raising the dead. This last story is attributed to the rule he laid down to one of the monks under his charge. One day, a monk, through great exertions, contrived to make two mats instead of the one which was his usual daily task, and he set them both out in front of his cell, that Pacomius might see how diligent he had been. But the saint, perceiving the vainglory which had prompted the act, said, This brother has taken a great deal of pains from morning till night to give his work to the devil. Then to cure him of his delusion, Pacomius imposed on him a penance to keep his cell for five months and to taste no food but bread and water. Take heed, therefore, that you do not your justice before men to be seen by them, otherwise you shall not have a reward of your Father who is in heaven.